Xuan Kuang, Chinese, Xuan Kuang Pinyin, Xuan Kuang, e, N -K -Y, C. 310 C. 235 BC, Alt. C. 314 C. 217 BC, also widely known as Zunzi, Chinese, Xuan Zi Pinyin, Zunzi, Wade Giles, Sun Tzu, Master Xuan was a Chinese Confucian philosopher who lived during the Warring States period and contributed to the Hundred Schools of Thought. A book known as the Zunzi is traditionally attributed to him. His works survive in an excellent condition, and were a major influence in forming the official state doctrines of the Han dynasty, but his influence waned during the Tang dynasty relative to that of Mencius. Zunzi discusses figures ranging from Confucius, Mencius, and Zhuangzi, to linguists Mozi, Wei Shi and Gongsun Long and legalists. Shen Behe and Shen Dao. He mentions Laozi as a figure for the first time in early Chinese history, and makes use of Taoist terminology, though rejecting their doctrine. <laughs> Life Zunzi was born Xuan Kuang. Some texts recorded his surname as Sun, Sun instead of Xuan, either because the two surnames were homophones in antiquity or because Xuan was a naming taboo during the reign of Emperor Zan of Han 73 BC, whose given name was Xuan. Herbert Giles and John Knobloch both consider the naming taboo theory more likely, nothing is known of his lineage, and the early years of Zunzi's life are enshrouded in mystery. Accounts of when he lived conflict, he is said to have met a King Kuei of Yan during the time of Mencius, while Lu Shang states that he lived more than a hundred years after Mencius. The Sima Qian records that he was born in Zhao, and Anjie County has erected a large memorial hall at his supposed birthplace. He is recounted at the age of 50 as going to the state of Qi to study and teach at the Jixia Academy. The Shi Ji states that he became a member of the academy during the time of King Shang of Qi, discounting the story of his being a teacher of Han Fei, but its chronology would give him a lifetime of 137 years. After Qi Zunzi is said to have visited the state of Qin, possibly from 260 to 265 BC, and praised its governance, and debated military affairs with Lord Lin Wu, Lin Wu Jun in the court of King Shaocheng of Zhao. Later, Zunzi was slandered in the Qi court, and he retreated south to the state of Chu. In 240 Lord Chunchen, the prime minister, invited him to take a position as magistrate of Lanling, Lan Ling Ling which he initially refused, but Lord Chunchen was assassinated in 238 BC by a court rival and Zunzi subsequently lost his position. He retired, remained in Lanling, a region in what is today's southern Shandong province, for the rest of his life and was buried there. The year of his death is unknown, though if he lived to see the ministership of supposed student Li Si, as recounted, he would have lived into his nineties, dying shortly after 219 BC. Philosophy <laughs> 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 Zunzi witnessed the chaos surrounding the fall of the Zhou dynasty and rise of the Qin state, which upheld doctrines focusing on state control, by means of law and penalties. Chinese legalism. Like Shang Yang, Zunzi believed that humanity's inborn tendencies were evil and that ethical norms had been invented to rectify people. His variety of Confucianism therefore has a darker, more pragmatic flavor than the optimistic Confucianism of Mencius, who tended to view humans as innately good, though like most Confucians he believed that people could be refined through education and ritual. However, he believed that only an elite could accomplish this. Adapting Confucianism to the ideas of the Mohists and legalists. Unlike other Confucians, Zunzi therefore allowed that penal law could play a legitimate, though secondary, role in the state. He rejects the Book of Lord Shang and Zhuangzi's claims that the way changes with the times, saying the way had been invented by the sages. To this end he seems to have taken up the Mohists' argumentative strategies and conception of models F.A. which the legalists had also taken up, saying the Ru model themselves after the former kings. Unlike the legalists, he places little emphasis on general rules, advocating the use of particular examples as models. Ultimately, he refused to admit theories of state and administration apart from ritual and self cultivation, arguing for the gentleman, rather than the measurements promoted by the legalists, as the wellspring of objective criterion. His ideal, gentleman, Junzi, king and government, aided by a class of erudites, Ru, are very close to that of Mencius, but without the tolerance of feudalism. 
Notes References Kua, A. S. Ethical Argumentation – A Study in Sun Tzu's Moral Epistemology. Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press. ISBN 0-8248-0942-4. Nekjus, David R., Shi, Sang Lin Zunzi Xuanzi. In Nekjus, David R., Chong, Taiping. Ancient and Early Medieval Chinese Literature, A Reference Guide, Part 3. Leiden, Brill. pp. 1757-65. ISBN 978-90-04-27216-3. Lo, Michael Sun Su Xuan Zi. In Lo, Michael. Early Chinese Texts, A Bibliographical Guide. Berkeley, Society for the Study of Early China, Institute of East Asian Studies, University of California Berkeley. pp. 178–88. ISBN 1-55729-043-1. Monroe, Donald J. 2001. The Concept of Man in Early China. Ann Arbor, Michigan, University of Michigan. ISBN 978-0892641512. Schwartz, Benjamin I. 1985. The World of Thought in Ancient China. Cambridge, Massachusetts: Harvard University Press. ISBN 0-674-96190-0. Topic. External links. Xuan Zi at Curly. HSUN Su Historical Information and Writing Excerpts. Article from the Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy Full text of the Zunzi in Chinese Quotes by Zunzi Tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, involve me and I will learn.